Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk a little bit about Cron. So, if you don't know what Cron is, chances are you probably don't need it. So, but maybe you do. So let's, let's just talk about Cron is basically a service that runs in the background on every Linux computer that allows you to automate certain processes. So you can do this on like Windows and Mac as well. They're called different things. So like Mac has Automator, Windows has Windows Services. I don't know much about the Windows one. I've used Automator in the past. But those are more those are for those are for different things. Cron is basically can run any command that you give it at different periods of time whether it's you know daily, hourly, whatever. And I'm going to show you um, different intervals and stuff like that in here in a few minutes. Um but basically let's say you wanted to run a backup every day at midnight. You could do that with cron. Let's say you wanted to check the weather once an hour and have that inputted into a file, which would be then checked for by you say your status bar, like polybar or whatever. You could do that. That way, it's not checking every thirty minutes or whatever. It's just ch checking once an hour. Uh, it it also you could do something like check for updates once a day or once a week. And it could be completely automated, and you wouldn't remember, have to, you know, do it yourself. So that's basically what cron is. So the question it becomes is, how do you use cron? And the cron is a little complicated for people. So, um, sorry, I switched to some new key bindings for OBS, and I'm still learning them. So. Bear with me, I'm probably going to switch around to the wrong things once in a while. So, uh, let's see if I got this right. So, huzzah. Look at that, that's cool. All right. It took me long enough to figure out how to do key bindings in OBS. So, so this is Cron Guru. We're going to talk about that here in a minute. But basically, Cron, curse pop-ups, like I said, allows you to automate its tasks. So, it's done through a thing called cron tab dash e so if you want to set a cron job you have to run this tab here to cron tab dash e i'm almost positive that every linux distribution comes with cron tab and cron and stuff installed if not it will be in your repositories just run cron, cron tab dash e if it works chances are uh it you know you have it installed uh don't run cron tab with a different editor. It's going to open up a version of Nano, uh, but it's a specialty version of Nano. It, if you've ever installed Arch Linux, you'll know that uh, there's a specialty version of, of VI that allows you to edit the sudoers file. It's kind of like that. You want to use just crontab-e. You don't want to navigate to the file itself and use like Vim or something. It wouldn't work. I'm not sure if it would break something. I've never tried. I don't want to try. Just don't do it. Just use this uh, thing here. Let me zoom in here so you can actually see. Cron tab dash e. And you just hit enter. And this is my cron tab file. It's located in dash tmp. Uh, I'm not sure why it's located in that uh, in that folder. It's just where it's located. Let me go over some of the things for here. So first it tells you what your default shell is. My default shell is not bash anymore, but I have bash installed so you can leave it that. I, I haven't been using fish. Uh, I could change it to fish if I wanted to. I'm not going to. I'm just going to leave it because I know this works. Uh, the mail to here, yes, that's my email address. I don't care <laughs> if you really want to email me, whatever. It's just going to go spam. Uh, that Basically, what, what cron will do is if something fails, it will email you that your cron job failed. Um, so you could also give it to pretty much any email you want as long as you can have access to it. This last one here is the um is really important if you're going to be running scripts so you want to tell cron what your paths are so if you've ever seen the dollar sign path thing you can actually go through do, if you don't know what your paths are basically it, oh, how do you explain path uh it, it's basically allows you to run scripts directly instead of having to do funky things with the whole uh path it basically is just, it's the default. I don't know how to explain it. Paths are really hard. I might have to do some, I mean, it's really hard to explain what a path is. In, I'm talking about path, I'm not talking about like 
say slash slash documents you know that would be a path but I'm talking about the path with a capital it looks like this so if we do echo dollar sign path it'll tell you everything that's a path on your site you can put a script in any of one of those these things and then you can run it from anywhere on the system by just typing the name of the script so I have a script in slash user slash local slash bin called weather.py if I run that it gives me the weather very simple with cron job if you're gonna run any scripts you wanna give the most usual paths on your system usually they're bin, sbin, user slash bin and so on and so forth there's a whole bunch of them you don't have to give them all just specifically the folders that you're using to score, store scripts in that will allow it to just run the path or the the script without having to have a whole bunch of paths you know in crazy places and it works really well so I have three cron jobs currently I have one that runs hourly it runs weather.py and then it, it appends that to the end of dot weather in my home directory and then my SL status up here will actually display that I did that because if I just let SL status run the script which you can do it checked like every five seconds or maybe every a thousand milliseconds or something like that it's, it's checked way too often and took a lot of resources this way it only checks an hour and despite the fact that SL status still checks every you know thousand seconds or something it just keeps it the same that way I don't have to deal with it switching back and forth every thousand milliseconds it was very annoying uh, I also have something that shows the updates the number of updates I have on my system and it does basically the same thing. It only checks it once a day. I don't need to know how many updates I have every hour. And this one here just runs uh, mail sync, which is um, which is um, for mail wizard. wizard. Um, anyways, those are the ones that I have. So what I'm going to show you now is how to set this up. Just uh, say for backup. I want to do. I want to do an R sync. So. This is where uh, uh, cron guru comes in. So if we uh, go here, this is crontab.guru. And this basically gives you a way of setting it up without having to remember what all these things are. So I don't have one of these in my thing, in my crontab, because there's a these are very complicated. So basically, the first uh, column here is minutes, hours, days, month, week. So the way this says here, it, on the fifth minute of every hour, the fourth hour of every day, uh, this whatever what, this thing would run. That's when cram, cron would run this thing. So you can change these things right here in, in cron group. So if I wanted to do it um, at the zero minute of every hour, I would just call it, do it this way. So that would do it at minute zero of every hour of every day so if I wanted to do it at one two o'clock in the morning every at the beginning of two o'clock every morning that's what that would look like um, personally I like the um, the ones that I have here so I think I was on this one oops wrong one where, 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 where? seriously there we go there <laughs> I was on two I didn't know where I was at seriously don't change your key bindings that you're used to because it takes a long time to get those muscle memory back down. I like these here. So if you're doing hourly, daily, or weekly, you can just do at daily, at hourly. And basically what that'll do, hourly will run it at the zero minute of every hour. So, you know, one o'clock, two o'clock, and so on and so forth. Daily will run it at midnight right on the dot, and it will do it every day. So I like those, you know, thing. this one here runs every 10 minutes so there's a lot of different things you can do um, I'm not gonna go through all of them that's why cron guru is so good so if I if we go here and do one uh, star so that it's star basically means every and then 10 minutes of every hour that be every 10th minute that basically means it t checks my mail every 10 minutes uh, you could change it to 20 minutes every 30th minute so just like 
you know, whatever. Uh, you can do that for every single one. So if we delete these here and do star slash 10, that would do every 10th hour. Every minute past every 10th hour. It, it'd be kind of weird. So you want to put like a zero on this. Um, that way you would put, you know, at the zero minute of every 10th hour, it would do this thing. Um, you can also do ranges. So you can do... Um, Let's do uh, one through ten. Oops, one through ten of star, this is star. So as every minute from one through ten, it would run this thing. I'm not sure why you'd want to run a, a a thing every ten. You know, every the first ten minutes of every hour. I'm not sure what uh, script you'd be using to do that, but you could do that. Um, this is more. Um, this is more uh, useful with months and days. So if you wanted to go through and do uh, this is month here. So uh, every I think if you do every like the, the star dash two, this is every second month. So it'd be every other month you, you could do. Um, you could do ranges of if say you only wanted to run something. Uh, only the first half of the year. You could do one through six, and so on and so forth. Or if you wanted to do something for the days, you could just do one through four, and that would do every minute on every day of the week from Monday to Thursday. That's how that works. And then you just, what you want to do, is you can just copy that, move to your cron tab, copy it into here, and then script. That's all cron does. And then it would run this thing to whatever you set it as with those stars and that's what Chrome is. So what I'm going to do actually is just something really easy. Instead of using the crazy star system, I'm just going to go do this. I'm going to do at daily and I'm going to do rsync dash av dash dash delete slash home slash and then I'm going to give the the um, path to my backup folder which is at run media slash hmm I don't know if I have to use how I would do spaces in this I'm not I can't remember I think it's the same way you'd use it in bash so big slash oops slash boy which is the name of my hard drive uh, because it's a big hard drive uh, or at least it was when I first got it it's not so big anymore <laughs> um, and then backups oops Oops, slash 2021, slash Jan April. Okay, and then uh, following slash. I'm pretty sure that would that's gonna run just fine. Um, I could I will test that off screen to make sure. I don't want to, but I'm pretty pretty sure that would run just fine. I may end up having to take that space out, but that's just the that's the way you set, set that's the way you set up cron tab. It's very easy once you get past the weird syntax. And that's why Cron Guru is so awesome. I will link this in the video description. Uh, it, it will it just allows you to set up things the way you want it and it tells you exactly how it's going to come out in plain English. It's awesome. Definitely use it. Don't bother going through and trying to learn these things on your own. I mean, eventually you'll learn them, you'll pick it up, but to start off with this, it's an easy tool to use. And it's just, like I said, it's awesome. So, that is it. Key bindings. Key bindings for the win. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Anyways, uh, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Uh, you can support the channel in any number of ways. The easiest way to do so is by hitting the subscribe button. At, and that's the red, big red button just underneath the video here. Uh, and then hit the notification icon. Completely free. Totally easy to do. If you are interested in supporting other ways, you can follow us on Twitter, at the Linux Cast, on Twitter and Facebook. Uh, you can follow me personally. I am at MTWB. Uh, and you can also support the channel on Patreon at patreon.com slash LinuxCast. I will see you next time with another video. Thanks for watching.